Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to fluid mechanics. So in the previous video, we discussed about viscosity, which is basically fluid friction. So in this video, we are going to discuss about another important concept related to fluid friction extended to the movement or motion of a solid object through a fluid. So here we are going to discuss about Stokes law which basically explains the movement of solid through a fluid or the friction experienced by a solid object when it moves through a fluid. So before that just uh, some basic uh, you know we will discuss some in a quick way to discuss about viscosity and fluid friction. So we know viscosity comes into play when there is a relative motion of fluid layers that are one above the other and this fluid friction force it is directly proportional to the velocity gradient that is uh, the difference in velocity between any two layers and the separation between them okay so it is given by f is equal to minus eta dv by dx and a here a is the area of contact between the two fluid layers okay so this is the viscosity, uh, viscosity force or fluid friction force and another important thing is the coefficient of viscosity which is given as eta is equal to f divided by a dv by dx so up to this we are clear it is this parameter which is very important when it comes to stokes law that is the movement of solid object through fluids the si unit of coefficient of viscosity is newton second meter square uh, meter to the power minus 2 per meter square and uh, it is also called as decapoise or pascal second now this is about fluid friction force and the coefficient of viscosity which is unique for each fluid now let us say that we have to study the movement of a solid object okay moving through a fluid so when let's say a solid body we will assume that it is spherical in shape okay it is moving through a fluid of viscosity eta at a certain velocity v here this solid object when it touches or at the point of contact between the surface of the spherical body and the fluid it experiences a retarding force okay an opposing force which drags kind of drags this solid object in the opposite direction of the uh, velocity its velocity so this force is also called as the drag force or viscous drag force okay it is also a kind of fluid friction this retarding viscous force so here this uh, law is only applicable for uh, bodies which are spherical in shape okay so here we have a spherical body of radius r so here there are some things which are very important first thing which is important here is the radius of the body r so this is why we have confined this discussion to only spherical shaped objects so that we can simplify our discussion radius of the body r that is important then coefficient of viscosity of the fluid or liquid eta that is important and the velocity of the object these three things are very important to determine the viscous drag force 
experienced by the solid object. So these three things come into play. The velocity of the body, radius, assuming that we are considering only spherical objects and the coefficient of viscosity of the liquid. So this, uh, the law which gives us this value of viscous drag force acting on this uh, solid object moving through the fluid is called as Stokes law, okay, the magnitude of the viscous drag force. So again, as we said, it depends on the shape and size of the solid object. We are assuming on the spherical objects. So the radius comes into play, coefficient of viscosity comes into play and velocity of the body comes into play. So this viscous drag force, it is given by this. Okay, F is equal to 6 pi eta R V. Okay, so here eta viscosity comes into play, coefficient of viscosity, radius of the object comes into play, the body, spherical body and the velocity of the body. Okay, so here also this viscous drag force, it acts in the opposite direction to the motion or movement or the velocity of the object okay so this is this this equation is called as stokes law okay so there are some limitations of stokes law first actually the the as we said it is only applicable uh, for spherical objects of a certain radius so this radius r which comes in this equation it implies that it is only applicable for spherical shaped objects then if the velocity v is very high it is moving too fast then this law does not hold good and uh, the spherical object or body it must be smooth and rigid if we want to apply stokes law to it okay so this is uh, the movement the study of the movement of solid object through fluids so here we just try to simplify our discussion by assuming that that solid object is spherical in shape of a certain radius r moving with a velocity v in a fluid of coefficient of viscosity eta so the viscous drag force is given by this 6 pi eta r v in the opposite direction to the velocity okay so this is all about stokes law so I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.